Papa John's, your day of reckoning has come. We are gonna test all the pizza chains in the surrounding areas and see if you really do have the best pizza, Papa John. And right now we're here at Domino's getting the regular large pepperoni pizza. And I have the one and only Pete Hammerstead with me. <laughs> at your service. Yep, and we're just waiting for a pizza. Um, this is the first video, it's a rough test video, I'm not sure um, how it's all going to work out later. But just stick with us for the ride and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll be gone again before law enforcement shows up. <laughs> Like every time. We got it. Domino's. I haven't had this in years. Um, I don't even... Both of us hate Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> There's no easy way to say that. Um, Domino's is like the closest thing to cardboard that I've tasted. And people say that a lot. They just fling those words around. It tastes like cardboard. But... I'm sincere. This tastes just like cardboard, but let's see if it can redeem itself today and best Papa John's. Ooh, that looks good. And we just got it from the store. Uh, hopefully we don't make a mess. Um, take one. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Yeah. A little greasy. <laughs> Very I'll greasy. Say, off the bat. <laughs> Looks like it has nice seasoning though. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, the crust is partly seasoned up. Ooh. And this was uh, about eight fifty seven. That's with tax included. So that's a really good deal, I'd say, for all this food. It falls apart very easily, but that's probably just because it's so hot. We have five criteria that we're going to review this pizza on, and that is the inner crust, the outer crust, the sauce, the cheese, and the pepperoni, and that's the standard for all the pizzas we're going to review from here on out. So, uh, thank you God for this food, and thank you for Pete Hammerstead for joining us. Amen. <laughs> All right, right, let's go. Yeah. Mmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna take a couple bites. <laughs> I, um, I'm gonna say I like it. I, I think they must, they must have changed it. Um, yeah, just checking if it was still recording. <laughs> they must have changed it. The cheese tastes pretty similar to Papa John's in a way. The same kind of, um, texture. They might have had the same blend of cheeses. The sauce tastes like... It does remind me of a frozen pizza, like if you dwell on it, but if you just, if you keep eating it, like it's, and take everything as a whole, it's a good pizza for eight fifty seven. dollars uh, I'd still say I like Papa John's more, but I'm going to take a couple more bites and uh, review each of its components individually. What do you think? I'd say I was pleasantly surprised. Um, however, I will say it is very greasy. <laughs> the sauce is sweet. I would like a little bit more salt. Hmm. I think the cheese could be better. <laughs> I don't really know how, but it just, <laughs> it could be better. <laughs> and this crust is a little pale. I'd maybe like to see a little bit mm -hmm. 
um, more color on there. The pepperoni's all right. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. But, you know, it's a little mushy. When you take a bite, it kind of just melts. Um, I like little. I like a little chew, you know. But uh, I, I mean, you know, I'm not complaining here. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's good. One thing that does bother me, like they do season it. You can tell they like powder it with some some other special blend. Like basil or something. Yeah, and. That's good, if you can see that. Hopefully next time I get the second camera, do a better close-up. But, um, I'm not the biggest fan of powdered seasoning, just because I feel like they're trying to make, they're trying to compensate for the bad ingredients they use by adding, by cheating. It feels like they're cheating, because they don't use proper ingredients and don't know how to cook pizza. <laughs> yeah. But... You know, lots of chains do that. I know Straw Hat Pizza does, and Domino's does too, I guess. Uh, I'm just not a fan of that. Yeah, there's definitely a, a garlic powder taste on here, which isn't that pleasant. Especially as you get to the crust, there's like a lot of it. And, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I'm, I'm finishing it, you know. It's not bad. Yeah. It's almost like a pizza pocket. They pack a ton of flavor into one small bite. It looks yeah. just kind of like this, but it just tastes artificial to me. That's the that's the main thing. So sauce, like uh, Mr. Hammerstitz. <laughs> Do you care if I call you that or what? No, go for it. Okay, Mr. Hammerstitt. Yeah. He, um, <laughs> he did say the sauce was sweet. Um, I taste the sweetness too, but it's also a bit tangy. And I'd say that might be this pizza's best strength. It's blending both of those two flavors pretty well. Um, it's, I don't think it's annoying. But again, I do taste that hint of frozenness inside the sauce. But it's fast food, what can you expect? Here's the pepperoni. It's pretty thin. That was a good price, too. Mm -hmm. Eight bucks. Mm -hmm. It's not their normal price. It's just... Um, it's, um, they had a deal going on this week. Oh. So, <laughs> um, but still, good. That pepperoni was good, too. I might need a, I'm gonna get a second pepperoni. I was thinking about something else. And it has some cheese, too. Let's try, yeah, a single piece of pepperoni. I like it. It's just your standard pepperoni, really. I compare it to Little Caesars. Um, yeah. The thickness, um, it, it is, um, personally, that might be my favorite thickness. Um, I don't like it too thick, like Mountain Mike's tends to do, or too thin. Little Caesars is pretty thin. Um, again, that powder they put on there is kind of altering the flavor of the pepperoni itself, so you can't really judge the pepperoni based on the quality of meat. Uh, here's another thing to note. Um, they do put like those little, like there's a cornmeal on the crust, those little tiny specks you see. Um, I guess that's to add some crunch and a slight bit more flavor to it. Um, you really don't notice it because it's so small and fine that you might as well not add it at all. It just makes a mess. Um, but they're trying. It's they de they just need to improve that. That's it doesn't help and it doesn't hurt. It just makes a mess. So yeah, Domino's. In conclusion, you have to really take this all together. The outer crust is pretty much the same thickness as the inner crust. There's um, it's not really different other than it doesn't have cheese, sauce, or pepperoni. Um, so I'd give the inner crust um. Two out of five, outer crust, two out of five. Um, sauce, um, 2.5 out of five. Uh, cheese, um, three out of five. Um, pepperoni, mm, 2.5 out of five.
That's me. I would agree with that. I think I would make the cheese a, a, like a 2 or a 2.5. Um, uh, personally, I kind of have a stomach ache now. But. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm a little nauseous. However, it was all right. Mm -hmm. I think, um, yeah, I don't know. Inner crust was like just very just soaked in grease and not that good. And then the bottom could be a little crispy crunch here. And then that garlic powder is just kind of like tacky. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, that's a good word to describe that. Yeah. So. Overall, I give it a, uh, I give it, like, a C minus. <laughs> C minus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Domino's, uh, it's worth a shot. Some people love it. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I think that's their pizza of choice. Um, so if you get that with the show, um, that's a great time. <laughs> Anything you'd like to... Plug. To plug? Mm hmm My Instagram, my paintings, my art, bharris.art on Instagram. That's all I got. Alright. Thank you. Dominoes. We'll average those scores up and uh, put it on the screen. And uh, put it in the spreadsheet and compare. Thanks for watching. Yep.